Hello, welcome to Storytime with Miss Chante, and today I have a special guest. It is The Spider and the Fly that we're going to be reading, and it's by Tony Delzit. And it's based on a cautionary tale by Mary Horwitt. And I hope you enjoy the story, so sit back and enjoy. The Spider and the Fly by Tony Dizzard. It's based on a cautionary tale by Mary Holtwood. The Spider and the Fly. Will you walk? Into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. Tis the prettiest little parlor that you ever did spy. The way into my parlor is up a winding stair, and I have many curious things to show you when you're there. Oh, no! said the little fly, to ask me is in vain, for who goes up a winding stairs can mere come down again. I'm sure you must be weary, dear, for soaring up so high. Will you rest upon my little bed said the spider to the fly. There are pretty curtains drawn around and sheets are fine and thin. And if you like the rest a while, I'll snugly tuck you in. Oh no, said the little fly, for I've often heard it said they never, never wake again who sleeps upon your bed. The Joy of Cooking Bugs Said a cunning spider to the fly, Dear friend, what can I do to prove a warm affection I've always felt for you? I've had within my pantry Good store of all that's nice. I'm sure you're very welcome. Will you please take a slice? Oh no, said the little fly. Kind sir, that cannot be. I've heard what's in your pantry, and I do not wish to see. Sweet creature, said the spider, you're witty and you're wise. How handsome are your gauzy wings, how brilliant are your eyes. I have a little looking glass upon my parlor shelf. If you step in one moment, dear, you shall behold yourself. I thank you, gentle sir, she said, for what you pleased to say, and hidden, bidding you good morning now, I'll call another day. The spider turned him around about and went into his den, for well he knew the silly fly would soon come again. So he wove a subtle web in a little corner sly and set his table ready to dine upon the fly. And when he came out of his door again and merrily did sing, Come hither, come hither, 
Pretty fly with the pearl and silver wings. Your robes are green and purple. There's a crest upon your head. Your eyes are like a diamond bright, but mine are dull as lead. Alas, alas, how very soon this silly little fly, hearing his really fluttering words, came slowly fluttering by. With a buzzing wing she hung aloft, and then near and nearer drew, thinking only of her brilliant eyes and green and purple hue thinking only of her crested head. Poor foolish thing, at last. Up jumped the cunning spider and fiercely held her fast. And he dragged her up his winding stairs into his dismal den within his little parlor, but she's never came out again. And now, dear children, who may the story read to idle, silly, fluttering words? I pray you never give heed. And to the evil counsel, close heart, ear and eye and take a lesson from this tale for the spider and the fly rest in peace well i hope you enjoy the story today of the spider and the fly tune in next time